Okay, so this lesson is on distance time graphs and speed time graphs. Okay, now what is it telling me? It's telling me that in 20 seconds it has gone 30 meters. Okay, however, from 20 seconds onwards, that bus or person stays at 30 minutes, uh, at 30 meters. Okay, so if I was going to work out the speed or the average speed that this person was to walk or the bus would move at, I would do this distance here, okay, which would be 30 meters divided by this distance here, which is 20 minus 0. Okay, so the speed would equal distance over time. And that's is equal to 30 meters here over 20 seconds. Okay, that is 3 over 2, which is 1.5 meters per second. Okay, so that's just an, a normal calculation, and this is what we call the slope or gradient of a line. Okay, and this sort of calculation it's uh, you can do in maths and in physics okay so this topic actually um, is common to both subjects so what is the speed from 20 seconds onwards well we can see from the graph graphically that this thing is just staying at 30 uh, meters okay so however if we want to put in the numbers let's uh, distance is um, gonna be this is zero meters okay because basically it's not moving up or down forwards or backwards so it's gonna be zero meters and let's say in the next 10 seconds 20 to 30 we still get zero meters per second okay so the speed is zero meters per second now what about a uh, speed time graph I have drawn several lines draw several slopes or gradients so let's have a look at this. So, and I'm actually going to label them different letters. Okay, so let's look at this first one. So, this car or person goes 10 meters per second from 0 meters per second, which is here, to 10 meters per second, which is there. Okay, and it does that in 10 seconds. So, what is that telling me? From a speed time graph, the gradient, okay, or slope, is equal to the acceleration, okay? So in this case, this length here, it's 10, 0, 10, and this length here is 10 seconds. So the acceleration is going to equal 10 over 10, which is 1 meter per second squared, okay? Make sure you do not forget the units, because this, you can lose marks on a test, okay? So that's the acceleration there. What about the acceleration in C? Okay, well first let's do B. Have a look at B. What's the change in Y? What's the change in the speed axis? Well, it's sticking at 10 meters uh, per second for about 10 seconds. So therefore, actually it's not changing speed at all, so it's not accelerating. So we can see from the graph graphically that the acceleration is zero. However, if we were gonna put it in an equation, it would be zero because that doesn't change, okay? Zero over 20 minus 10, zero over 10, it's zero meters per second squared, okay? So, that's what we've got there. Right, let's do C now. So C goes to 30. Now, obviously, this, this graph isn't drawn the most accurate, but I'm gonna say this connects up to 30, okay? So this distance here, and I'm gonna say this connects up to 40, okay? Now, this length here, is a total of 30. However, notice that this line starts from the 10 meter per second mark. So actually, I need this length here. So I do 30 minus 10, 
30 minus 10 gives me 20 meters per second. Okay, so this length here is 20 meters per second. This length here is going to be 40 seconds minus 30 seconds. 40 minus 30. Now, obviously, it's not exactly 30, but just to have nice numbers, um, I'm using I'm regarding this point as 30, okay? So, that's 10 seconds. So let's put this in, into our formula. So, the acceleration for C is going to be uh, 10, sorry, 20 from here. That's the speed, 20 meters per second, divided by the 40 minus 30 for 10, divided by 10 seconds. Okay, it gives me 2 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the answer there. So the acceleration is greater in C compared to the acceleration in 1. Okay? Uh, and let's do D. Well, graphically you can see that this, there's no change, so this is 0 meters. This is, well, doesn't matter what that length is, let's call it 10. Okay, so the acceleration in D is going to be 0 meters per second over 10, that's 0 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's how you calculate acceleration on a speed time graph. Now, what about the total distance traveled? Okay, so there are two things you can do on a distance time, on a speed time graph. One is to work out the acceleration, which is the slope of these lines. The other thing is to work out the distance traveled at a particular, um, during a particular period. So, we have from 0 to 10 seconds, and let's say the question asks you for how far that car or bus has traveled. So, we need to work out the area of this triangle. So, it's this length, 10 times 10, gives us 100. But because it's a triangle, we need to divide that by 2. So the area is going to be 50 meters. Okay? So if I say distance traveled for the first 10 seconds, uh, and that is going to be 10 times 10, which is 100 divided by 2, that's 50 meters. Okay? What about from 0 to 20 seconds? This time, we now need to add this shape in. Okay, so we got 10 here and we've got 10 there. So that's just, that's 100 meters. So 100 plus 50. So distance traveled in from 0 to 20 seconds, it's going to be 50 plus 100 from the 10 times the 10 there. Okay, so that's 150 meters. So, what about from zero, or in fact, I'm gonna change the question this time, I wanna ask you, what was the distance traveled from 30 to 40 seconds? Okay, so that means I need to work out the area under C, or during period C, so this is 10, that's 10, so the first bit is going to be 100 meters here, and this length is 10 times 20, so that's 200 meters divided by 2, that's 100. So, C, or 30 to 40 seconds, is 100 meters from this square, 10 times 20, which is 200, Divide that by 2, okay? So, yeah, plus 100 meters. Gives us 200 meters in total, okay? So, if I was going to ask you distance traveled from A to C, I just add these up 100, 200 plus 150 plus 50. 200 plus 150 plus 50 equals 400 meters. Okay?
And that's how you um, answer these questions. So just remember there's two things you can work out on a speed time graph. One of them is the slope or gradient of these lines, which is the acceleration. And the other thing is the distance traveled, which is the area underneath uh, the, the line. Okay.